Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Skies here in our wonderful base which has been partially blown up by some of the mobs spawning over here. I had a creeper explode and I was thinking, well now we know, okay, so that's what happened when I was hanging out here the other day. I don't blow up again, jeez, it didn't destroy anything valuable, don't worry, I know. I know. <laughs> that was a little bit strange. So that happened the other day, and now I've lost my train of thought. Welcome back to another episode. I've been busy in between episodes. Our refined storage system over here is hooked up to this drawer controller, and I've gone and attached another drawer controller over here and hooked it up to the refined storage system as well. So now we can see all of these materials in the system, including glass, which I have been smelting. In this episode, we are going to get through an absolutely redonkulous amount of resources okay um, so over the back here we've got another machine all of these have been upgraded to the next tier and you can see the drawer controller down there and the cable that connects it to our system so that's been implemented we can access these materials now and what I want to do is mass craft a whole bunch of solar panels if we open up our quest book and look for the generation revolution you can see there's a different bunch of solar panels we've done some already and I want to craft them going all the way up to this chaotic solar panel level, right? Now, we're not going to be able to do all of them in this episode, but we will craft as many of these ones as we can to create the last few. So you'll see that these ones require something called draconic fusion or fusion crafting, whatever it is. It's uh, something I've never actually done in modded before, so we're not going to be ready to do that today. But we will craft enough of the tier 8 levels to get all the way to the top tier, right? And the way that we're going to do this is by auto-crafting, because there is going to be an absolute ridiculous amount of crafting. We're talking about stacks upon stacks upon stacks upon stacks of resources, stacks of stacks. We actually need, like, for the starting bit, I think, uh, 64 stacks of redstone. So over here in this temporary little area, I want to power a couple of crafters. I've also brought with me some diamond chests for storing materials. And we're just going to have a temporary conduit network to transfer materials from these chests into these auto crafters where we're going to set up the recipes for the different components of the solar panels and the idea is is that we basically sort of do it all in one big go right and I've calculated all the materials that we need here because in order to make tier twos you need eight tier ones and how many tier twos do we need to make a tier three etc etc I've been doing all the math it's been making my head hurt to be honest there are lots of crafting recipes lots of numbers to write down and that's why we've got the automated um, smelting of sand into glass over here because we are going to chew through thousands and thousands of glass as we do this. So this is the first recipe right here. I want to show you everything just so you can see that we have got all the things that we need to craft everything I believe so far. We've got redstone, we're farming that. These photovoltaic cells over here, again all things that we're farming. I think there's like one thing that we haven't farmed and that is quartz and it's right up the top here so I need to go into the nether and do a little bit of quartz mining. Now just going through the rest of these, you know, blocks of iron clocks are made out of things that we've got. Same for redstone lamps and diamonds over there. We collected dragon's breath in the end last time so we should have plenty of those and dragon's eggs as well. That's one other thing that I've got to go ahead and farm and that'll allow us to craft the tier 8 and then after that it's into the draconic stuff. It's, it's kind of exciting and it involves a lot of resource gathering and I'm going to walk you through the crazy amounts of numbers we're going to need to craft this stuff. And that, my friends, is why we needed this tree farm. I'm joking, of course. This thing is very passive. It's very slow. It produces about 120 logs overnight, and that is fine by me. It's just going to slowly uptick over time, and that just means it helps us do a little bit less farming in the long run. But when we need crazy amounts of logs like this... We need to call on its help and look at all these materials that I've been collecting. If you're wondering what the saplings are for, they are actually sort of making a grid. So this is 10 wide and then it's, let's see, 3, 6, uh, 8 tall. That should work out to 320 stacks of 
planks in total, which is what we need, right? Uh, so an insane amount there. Then we've got an 8x8 grid of redstone, which is 64. Same for the iron, so 64 stacks of that. And then in here, a little bit less, 72 stacks of glass. Now, all of these are set to extract mode, so these materials will end up in here because this is on insert mode. But we're going to define exactly where in here it's going to land and we're going to set up crafting recipes as well. So I block the inventory with sticks and we're going to start off by making the planks. So if I do that, what we want to do is select keep. So it will keep one item in every inventory slot. So that's very important because we don't want to lose a slot and have a different item go in there. Uh, we also want the result to go into the input, into this area here. We're not ready to take the solar panels out just yet. And then I believe that's kind of it. I don't think we need to mess around with that. So if I apply that, it's ready to do that crafting recipe now. So if I put this here, that should in theory get filled up, but it's got nowhere to put it until I do that. And you can see it's crafting. <laughs> it's doing the crafting right there. We should also put this in fast mode so it can do it nice and quick. It's going to suck up some power as it crafts though. Um, so the next thing for us to make would be... Ah, and I haven't actually crafted it beforehand, which is kind of important. So that's our next recipe. Again, keep an internal. Very important every time. We're going to click apply there. And now we've got to do the same thing again. We've got to put in the glass and then we've got to put in the space for it to go into. And it's crafted up all of that. Now, I think the next one's slightly different. We're just going to put iron there and that's going to fill up. And now we've got to make a third recipe. Oh yeah, no, I am missing some steps here. There's more stuff I was supposed to have crafted myself. Hi, let's double click on that um, because we've got one there and then we need some of that glass going across the top. Right, I haven't made that though, so I need to make one of those so we can put it inside of here. Bam, and there we go. It just made a load of them. It just sucked up a load of power. Crazy. Now, the next one is going to be this. Can I do that? Oh, I can. I didn't know. I made a mistake doing that. It overwrote the last one. But anyway, we click on keep. We click on internal. And we click... No, sorry, external. Very important it goes over here. And now we click apply. And everything is in place. What's missing? Redstone. I, I forgot to put redstone right here. And bam, it starts to craft. Pretty cool, right? I think we could probably increase the speed of this thing, though. Uh, it seems to be limited by the speed at which the redstone is coming in, so we should upgrade our conduits over here. Uh, this one was redstone, right? The third one along? Let's get that one revved up. Um, maybe it wasn't then. Wait, what did I just do when I, I did shift click it into there? Okay, let's, let's get some more and more going. So they've all got upgrades for speed. And now when we come over here, right, I'm going to take those out. Yes, it's going very, very fast. Okay, that's really cool to see. Now, we're going to change this to, uh, hang on a second, extract and insert. And then we're going to put our extract on the brown. And we're just going to make this one do an extract and insert as well. And its insert will be on the brown. And it will start, uh, shouldn't have done that. I think when we were changing channels, it might have temporarily moved things from the green one. So when I change the colour here, it temporarily puts some items in from the green channel. Uh, it's now up putting solar panels over there though, because of course we've set this thing up to extract. And I had to turn this off temporarily because it wasn't going as fast as I wanted it to. And what we need is upgrades on the extract. This is how fast we are crafting insane amounts of stuff here. It's so much fun. Alright, and we're going to chuck that down, we're going to put power back into this machine and look at it go. We don't even see the solar panels here though, so if we want to see them get crafted, look at that! That is a sight to behold. Automation, right? Oh, that's very, very cool. Now, is it using up all of the juice? It's using up all of the juice that's coming its way. I think if we were to put another conduit on the other side of it, it might be able to go a little bit faster. So, let's attach you and you. And now, yeah, it looks like it's got a lot more power. <laughs> and look at that, it's making insane amounts of solar panels. This is awesome. Oh boy, oh boy, has this number crunching really gotten to me. So I've just redone some maths for the amount of glass that we need. Obviously, we've got all the glass in the world here to spend. 
and I got the exact same number that I did before so I couldn't understand how it is that we have this 8x8 grid of solar panels and how we have leftover iron, how we have leftover redstone so if you look at it like this it's a one for one right one redstone equals one solar panel I thought maybe with all of this fast crafting that we had tricked the server a little bit and gotten some cheaty solar panels and then after a while I realized this is only seven tall here so actually we've got another row to do right here so we need like an item just to block stuff off on that side and then I just need to drop the glass in here until this row right here fills up in fact it shouldn't go much further than that because the redstone will limit how many of these we can craft right so I'm just going to keep chucking that in and then it should stop right there on a full amount but it hasn't we're half a stack short so we're slightly short of something somewhere uh, maybe it's wood I don't know I'll chuck in some more resources and we'll get all of that done it was actually the 40 wood that I had on my hotbar that was required don't know how they got stuck there but anyway we're on to tier 2 now and I've already set up all the materials that we need and I've put in the recipes, the piston and the, the solar panel tier 2. So if we do that, that thing should start filling up. Excellent. And that one got replaced, which means there is something wrong. That's supposed to be on keep. It has occurred to me that we should probably remove the previous recipes. And now I've fixed it, so we'll keep that one there. So if we come over here and set that to always active, these things are going to get ripped out of there. Ah, and the other thing that we need space for is some cobblestone. And then it's going to do its crafting magic again, except it's not doing its crafting magic. Bam! There we go. I shouldn't have removed the top one. We still needed that. So let's chuck these in here. And it'll be able to make all of those pistons and straight away turn them into solar panel tier 2s. Alright, let's go look in this chest. Yes, you can see that it is slowly doing its thing. I'm getting a little bit sick of number crunching and this next part isn't going to be an exact science because we've got to make the next set of tiers and then there's a whole bunch of numbers to run through especially when you get to these photovoltaic cells because the next one requires some of the first one and quickly you go into that that tunnel of crafting recipes right um, so anyway we're going to be making tier 3, tier 4, tier 5 if you look at the things in the middle here I've gathered all of those up so this is 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 we're going to be able to craft all the way up to that uh, then I've been gathering an absolute insane amount of resources that are going to go into here to make all of the photovoltaic cells and I've set these up as well now one of these is slightly different this one right here should send uh, these to the output but keep one in this part here as well right because once it's crafted that it's going to send them all over there and that's important because we need that in the next one as well but at the same time we want to craft these move them over to a chest and then move them back again that is kind of the plan for crafting up all of those and the only thing I need to put in there now is clay and once again crunching numbers doing so much maths that my head is spinning and I think we need that much clay it looks like it's not enough to me so we're just gonna run this together and hope that everything is good so currently this thing has been turned off so we will make it active and it should go straight away and start creating those things and putting them into that output which it is not doing is it because I've missed a step here does this one need to be active as well what have I missed Aha, it's in my inventory. It was there because we needed to put it there. Right, and now it should start crafting some mirrors. That's a solar panel, not a mirror. Put in the wrong thing. <laughs> and there it goes. Right, so it's keeping them there and it's putting them in the output, which means they come over here and then they can come back again and it can get used by the next recipe. So did I... Yep, that one's been set to always active. I think what I haven't done here is given it a slot for clay and now it should start making the next tier as well, which is what it's doing. So the automation of crafting is over. I actually made the right amount, which was six stacks of all of these and six stacks of those. It does mean that I rounded things up, so we got 24 more of these than we needed, but I'm not complaining because it just made doing the maths easier. So after we automated all of those, I then took these ones and took them up to the next level. So that used our obsidian farm. Of course, we're getting uh, loads of glowstone from sieving. And now what we've got to do is the fourth tier. So I need to go and get some quartz from the nether. That means we're going to have to make a new pick. But we'll come back to that in a second. Let's just have a look at the recipes here. You can see I've actually set all of these up 
and that will give us four stacks of the next tier which will go in this little bit here that'll make the right amount for these ones and then for those and those and we're, we're pretty much there we just need to sort out this last upgrade and then I'll be able to craft ourselves all the way up to the top and remember we're making enough so that we'll have enough to make this one eventually although we'll actually be making three of them and they will make an insane amount of power which is really cool so I said that we needed a pick to mine quartz in the nether. The deal is this one has silk touch and we need one with fortune. And this is what I love. Now that that's in a compacting drawer, we can just yank out nine stacks of, um, of those. And you know what? I'm going to put this on push-pull so that the carbon can come back into here and it can keep doing its thing. And we're going to go and drop that into this bit over here so we can smelt up more of it and make the carbon parts for our tool. So a very common question that I get is why don't you make your tools unbreakable? Well, now I can answer your questions. This is the reason why. It's going to take up five of those six modifiers and I'm not sure what else I want to put on this thing. The reality is it's doing a pretty good job and I could probably put it on there. But when it comes to a tool that actually has a purpose, then it kind of makes sense to put it on there because we're going to put on five of those and then free fortune modifications and then we know exactly what this pick is going to do it's just for fortuning ores so making it unbreakable means a little less maintenance now what do I want to check here durability is really high if we change that over uh, we get even higher durability but only three modifiers this way around we get four so if we're making it unbreakable in the long run it don't matter so I'm gonna take that but right now I'm actually only gonna put one unbreakable on it and the rest is gonna go into the lapis so I don't know how much it costs in total. Does this one work with more than three? Are we on fortune three already? We are. That's terrific. So that means when we mine quartz, we're getting exactly what we want. Now here's the next thing. In order to level this up so we can make it fully unbreakable. Oh, we still have two modifiers. Okay. Fortune works slightly different than I thought it did. But yeah, in order to level it up, what we want to do is mine blocks with it, right? So here in the nether, fantastic place to do that. We're going to make a mess. You know, we're going to make a mess, and straight away, I've, uh, well, I'm starving to death because I need to eat, but we've got another modifier because we just leveled it up, so if we put that on there, it's one away from being entirely unbreakable. Now, a moment ago, I was talking about this. We need quartz next, right? And that's exactly what we're going to do with this pick. We're going to find the quartz, we're going to mine it with fortune, and we're going to get rich. <laughs> Seconds later, after another vein mine, uh, we've done it. So I'll be making no more messes like this now, unless I for some reason decide that's an efficient way to find quartz. I don't think that's going to happen. What I'm going to do now is finish upgrading that, going to chuck all of this netherrack into the lava here. Then we're going to go around and fish out loads of quartz. The ores are exploding and the pigmen are angry. Now, I know I'm overpowered, but I do not actually have a lot of armor on, so I do need to be... A little bit cautious here. Okay, that seems to be all of them for now. They could be angry just around the corner, just out of reach. So I do need to watch my back here. I can always fly away if it gets too hairy. Alright, I've set up a compacting drawer back here. And that means that we can craft the final bit. Goodness me, it's been one heck of an adventure, right? We're about to craft up all of these solar panels and get business done. Um, so it's that right there that we need to craft with this many. So I should just be able to drop it in there. We have made the blaze farm. We've got the quartz. We've farmed the diamonds. And bam, it made 55. Oh, it probably ran out of energy. That's something that it likes to do when crafting. So if we do them one by one, we'll see. Yeah, we're going to get the rest of them now. What am I doing? Why am I not recording? I know it's been a longer than usual episode and I try and keep them a little bit on the trim side but this part, this last bit right here is very satisfying to come in here and finally craft this all the way to the top and we're completing quests as well. Right, you for uses, the one with the solar panel, bam, we're completing another one. This is just great. I'm doing these one at a time but I don't really need to. I can chuck all of that in there. So solar panels, uses, bam. Crafting them, excellent. Uses again. And that's it. That's as far as we can go for today. We got 16 of them. That's absolutely amazing. Did I just do that too fast as well? Because that is certainly a thing, although Scalder will come to the rescue and grant us uh, the last one. So that's the next one to make, tier 8. I thought that's what we were making. Uh, no, we're just going up as high as 7. And that generates 8,000 each, so we can start using them now and pump more power into our system as well, which is absolutely amazing. From 8 RF per tick all the way up to 8192 
times 16 if you fancy doing some maths. By the way, in case you're wondering and you're thinking, hang on a second, you had like 4,000 of those. Uh, this absolutely adds up. There's a, there's a threshold, basically. Uh, the further up you go, you reach a point where it becomes better than the last ones, or, or sorry, the basic ones, and then after that it just gets better and better and better. So when we get the top tier one, it's going to be an insane amount more energy than this, but that's probably too much for the system now. We ain't going to have no power problems, no time soon, are we? And that's where we're going to end this episode. If you have enjoyed it, then leave a like. As always, thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.